Hey guys, you are on GCC Revision Trigonometry. Here we are going to apply trigonometry in order to solve 2D and in the end we'll, so we'll be solving 3D problems. That's the practical exercise from GCC, so make sure you'll be able to do and you'll be able to apply your knowledge that you got from theoretical basis. Okay? If you are new here, just try to go back, watch my explanation about trigonometry in general, watch how you can memorize in the easiest way all ratios rules. It's not so calculated, it's a new method, so try to go, try to explore. All right, if you're ready to solve, if you're here for revision, just make sure you'll be able to do by your own and then compare answers with mine. So that's the starting problem and I'm starting my explanation. Okay, so you need to find the length of the horizontal roofing bar required to support the roof. Here is the roof. With a lateral angle 10 degrees. So it's there, as shown on the picture. And you also have the length half of, basically it's half of the roof. So the length of one half of your roof length. Is 10 centimeters. Wow, 10 centimeters. Unbelievably small. Looks like it's tiny and toys roof. Okay. Anyway, anyway, maybe it's just model. Anyway, we don't care. We've got 10 centimeters, we've got 10 degrees, and because of trigonometry, we need to have a right angle triangle in order to apply trigonometric ratios. All right, so that's the right time to get our triangle. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the height. So in this case, triangle, let's mark it as A, B, and C, the vertices, which are here. And this triangle obviously is isosceles, so two lateral sides the same. So it's going to be 10 centimeters on that side as well. So that's why this height is going to be also a median, so a bisector for the segment AC. Okay, so that how we can indicate this that this is bisector. All right, so what we're going to do, we just need to mark unknown sides, and because we need to find the lens for AC, that supporting bar, we can say that we're looking for the half, which is X, and so AC is going to be just simply 2x. Okay, so let's try to do. You have right angle triangle BC and whatever this point is, let's say L. So BCL triangle is right angle, so we can apply we can apply Pythagoras. Okay. Pythagoras, no? It seems to me trigonometric ratio is fair because trigonometric ratio connects always angles, that's necessary element, otherwise you can use Pythagoras if you want to connect all three sides. So in this case we just apply trigonometric ratio because we, we can see the angle here. And we need another two sides. So one side is x is unknown, it's going to be adjacent relating to the angle 10 degrees and we also consider 10 centimeters as BC. So in this case, it's hype. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to apply cos rule. So let's apply cos rule here. Just remember that adjacent side is always hypotenuse times the cos of the angle you have, so in this case, 10 degrees. So right now, we just rewrite in what we have in terms of values. So adjacent side is x is going to be 10 centimeters times cos of 10 degrees. Now, from where we can figure out x values. Okay, and it's going to be centimeters as units for that. Okay, so go back to calculators. Make sure you remember how to calculate. But if not, I just remind you that make sure your calculator in degrees mode. So your calculator need to be in degrees, degrees mode instead of because otherwise it might be in radians so don't use radians just exclude radians for sure 
and make sure you use degrees instead so otherwise you will have wrong values for cos 10 degrees okay so what I've what I have I have 9.85 centimeters and here is the check the X adjacent leg or opposite leg in comparison with hype is going to be less than hype okay so in this case 9.85 centimeters is less than 10 centimeters so that's okay so the test has been passed all right so we've got that it was pretty easy and that's from where we can figure out ac value as double x so from where we can say that final answer for ac is going to be t twice more okay so here we're going to use simply twice more which is 19.696 so if we round up we'll get 70 centimeters the answer is correct to two decimal places okay so that's the final answer make sure you have the same it was pretty easy and that's it okay if you are not sure if you did in incorrectly so make sure you come back roll back and just watch the theoretical basis there were there were clear explained so make sure you watch that and only then come back and practice that was daniel dallas if you are not subscribed smash the bell button and subscription button so join gcc program as well so you can find lots of other videos dedicated to an oxford test and to even entrance test for different schools but if you are on gcc just keep going keep practicing do revision and you'll succeed and get an a star that was daniel dallas see you later guys